Hi there, welcome to Kerry Shaves. Very nice to see you and it's nice to be back here. It's been a little while, a couple of weeks, so um, things have been going on. I've been life stuff, you know how it is. Uh, not had time to film a shave, so I'm back in the ca I'm back in the camera. Am I in the camera? No, I'm back in the bathroom in front of the camera um, with my friends. Uh, so I'm going to film a shave today. I was um, contacted, well, a kind of chat with Mark from Friendship Shaving. And he said, uh, he had a couple of new razors in the den, uh, would I like to borrow them? And I said, yep, that'd be good. And I'm always uh, looking to try new stuff, uh, but he's going to borrow some razors for me, for his channel. So it kind of works both ways, so it's good. Right, let me show you the razor that he, well, one of them, he sent two up for me to try. So this is the Yates Precision Manufacturing. Uh, there's, it comes in this lovely tin. Like that, nice white tin. And this is the, well, we'll look at this first. Look at the packaging. Beautiful. Right, let me just uh, take this out. So this is the uh, model 921M razor. So it gets everything in there. That's a little card you get with it. Let me just put that to the side so it, it doesn't get wet. And it comes in this nice tin here. I think, well, I take it you get these blades. This is uh, made in the States, all made in the USA, stainless steel. I'll put links for everything. Here's the razor here. Very nice. Yeah, it has a, a quite a thin handle. Has these uh, ridges here. Yeah, all three piece, non adjustable. Comes apart like that. Very nice. It has uh, the branding on the top there. If you can see that. The Yates Precision Manufacturing. Yeah, you can see it there. Um, there's the top cap, all very nice. It has these little scallops, if that's coming across or not. Um, here's the base cap, which is very nice. I like I like the uh, these little bumps just to hold the blade in place. Yeah, it's nice. I'm looking forward to using it. It's, um, I think it's supposed to be quite a mild razor, but we shall see. Um, the 921-M. So I think you can get, um, this is the medium plate, so I think you can get um, the heavy or the extra heavy. It tells you all there, look. You can see like the, the options that you get. The plate geometry, so this is the mild, I guess, heavy, extra heavy. Safety bar, you could get solid, scalloped, open comb or hybrid. Material, 316 stainless, titanium brass, uh, what's CU? I'm not sure what that is. And the finish is bead blasted, stuff like that. But that's it there. So, all very good. I like the packaging, I like the look of the razor. The thin handle is nice. He agrees. Uh, so, the blade I'm going to be putting that is a second use Gillette Nasset. So, let's just. Uh, Put that in there. Yeah, second use Nasset. How have you been since I've seen you last? It's been a, a couple of weeks, uh, which we shall talk about things. Oh, I meant to say, underneath the razor, it shows you the model, which is the 921M, and it has a, a serial number there as well, which is which is all relates to the information on the card. There's no plastic washer with this, so I'm not going to use one. Uh, I'm just going to use it as Mark has uh, very kindly sent me it. So there it is there. Looks good. Looks good. Yeah, I like the head. Really nice. Um, is there overhang? No. You can see a bit of the blade tab shown there, but it's just because the, the, the head's kind of curved in at the side. But there isn't any overhang. Good. So. Thank you, Mark, at uh, Friendship Shaving. I'll put a link to his channel. Go and check him out. He has some excellent shaving videos. Really informative. Goes into depth with a lot of the razors and stuff. It's very good. I like it. Right, the soap. Again, sent to me by a very kind subscriber. Um, he sent lots and lots of samples. So this one is sample number five. A number five sample is... He sent about 18 samples. So number five is this. I'll put it up. Here, there we go. It's a spearhead shaving spice, uh, and this is made. 
there was a company back in the 30s called Seaforth Shaving uh, and um, Spearhead are kind of paying homage to them by releasing their old labels and stuff like that. So that's what this sample is. I've scooped a little bit out, put it in the, I've scooped out that much. I put it into the black plastic yaki bowl. There it is in there, just pressed it in the bottom. You can see the ridges and stuff there. Yeah, these are new bowls from Yaki, so that's what I'm using for that. Uh, and the brush is another one of the new Yaki ones I showed you a while back. It has the coin at the bottom. Here it is here. This is called the Yaki Ocean, and it's a 28 millimeter knot. This kind of black tuxedo. It feels like it has a little bit more backbone, but it might just be, it's not this, there's not much of a glue bump, but it splays well, but they're, yeah, it doesn't seem as floppy as the tuxedo knots, but uh, let's have a look at this brush up close. Yeah, so it looks like the, the ocean, the blue and the green of the ocean. Very nice. Yaki are putting out some great brushes. Can you see the little swirls in there and stuff? Yeah, looks great. I like it. Right, that's uh, everything, the info I've showed you. Just let me put that out the way so it doesn't get any water on it and stuff. And that's good. So, how have you been? Good, that's good. I'm glad to hear it. Right, let's uh, start this bowl lathering process. Just put some water in there. Look at that. Straight away. Yeah, so, um, yeah, busy with uh, stuff, life. You know how it is. That's why I don't like, I don't like to um, say I'm putting a video out on a, a Monday and a Friday or a Sunday and a Tuesday or whatever it is, you know, because sometimes things get in the way, especially, well, but my life is crazy, busy, super. <laughs> <laughs> Shit happens, you know how it is. But um, yeah, so I don't like to do that in case, um, in case things crop up. Just put some water to this. Nice scent on that. The scent notes are mandarin, aldehyde, carnation, anise, cinnamon, clove, cardamom, benzoin, tonka and vanilla. Actually, while I'm whipping this up, uh, let's have a look at the description from the um, uh, Spearhead Shaving Company website. Let's have a look at the description of Spice. We'll come back and this will be ready to go. Okay, that's the uh, description there. Yeah, so this is whipped up nicely. Yeah, I think it's meant to be a kind of homage, sort of tribute to um, Old Spice. That's twice I've said homage in this video. I'm not happy with that, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, it's supposed, it's supposed to be, I think, maybe like a modern take on Old Spice. Yeah, I get the um, I get the cinnamon and the, the clove. It reminds me of a, there's similarities to an old sweet we used to have in the UK called the Whorehound. Whorehound. Yeah, I don't know. But um, it was like, it smells. There's little traces of that in, in this that I can smell. So that's where I'm going with that. Right, look at this lather. Beautiful. Really nice. Whipped up into a frenzy. <laughs> right, let's wet the face. I'll get going. Yeah. This is a 28 millimeter knot, so if you like big knots, this is for you, definitely. And it whips that lather up no problem at all. I'm just gonna gather some more in the brush. Yeah, that soap can um, it can take a good amount of water there. I put a, I threw a good amount of water in, into the bowl there when I was uh, creating the lather, so that's always a good sign for me anyway. Very nice. 
yeah look you can see the peaks are great that means it's uh, it's not too stiff it's not too dry look at that hey <laughs> we'll just leave that there nope <laughs> it's gone okay get back on the brush yeah that looks good right let's go with that yeah the good thing about this uh, bowl is you can rest the brush in a handle like that well, you're um, just in between passes. Right, let's put some heat in this Gillette Nasset in the 921-M from Yates Precision. Yeah, I think it, the handle is very thin, but it's not, it's not uncomfortable. It's nice to hold. Right, here we go. I think the blade gap on this is 0 0.2. So, not very uh, aggressive, feels nice, feels good on the skin. Yeah, it feels nice. It has, um, I think due to that bead blast finish, which a lot of razors have, it has that little tiny bit of drag, but not as much as some other razors I've tried with that, that sort of finish. Like the uh, the Blackland Blackbird, that sort of finish. Um, you hear some people saying that it has some drag to it. This has a little bit of that, but not very much. Or it's not as pronounced. Pronounced, Kevy. Oh, it's not. <laughs> it's not as pronounced as the uh, the blackbird, the drag. Has a little bit of blade feel. But um not a great deal. Hey, what's uh, mowing down those uh, bristles? Nice, uh, slim profile on the head. We're getting under the nostrils. Yeah, no problem. Very good. Right. First pass done, good slickness on that soap. Right, let me rinse, I'll come back for pass number two. Okay, that's that rinsed off nicely. Yeah, still a bit of growth there, so that's the uh, whole idea in three pass shaving. You do, you just reduce the stubble as you go. Yeah, this is a, a soap I've never tried before, this particular artisan, so, um. Thank you, Paul Murphy, for sending up all those samples. Yeah, it's very thin. A lot of people don't like using samples. I, like, oh, I need the whole tub for a picture and stuff. I don't mind. <laughs> I honestly don't mind it. I like, um, it's a good way to try a soap without, um, you know, having to buy the whole the whole tub and then finding out that you don't like the scent or there's something in it that doesn't agree with your skin or it just doesn't perform the way you want it to or 
you get the gist. The gist. That's a good word, Kevy. Gist. Right. Uh, second pass across the growth. Yeah, nice lather that. Yeah, the scent is uh, coming. It smells like it must be the cinnamon in the clove. It's got that kind of. I thought the cinnamon might react with my skin, but it feels okay. So far, it's got that kind of um, old timey. See here from the brush, old timey uh, scent. I know you guys are saying, "What the hell's old timey scent? What does that mean?" <laughs> it's like a smell from when I was a kid, so that's old timey. <laughs> long, long timey. Yeah, there's good balance in this razor. It is um, a little bit head heavy, I would say, just because the handle's so thin, but it's well balanced in the scheme of things. Yeah, tiny, tiny little bit of drag, just because of the finish, I think. But um, I'm actually not sure if Mark even used this razor before sending it up to me, so very kind. I know, I know there have been some reviews quite um, a few months ago now of guys using this, some YouTube YouTubers. Yeah, but um, Yates Precision Manufacturing are based in the States, just a little shop. I think they make like the uh, the winning razor and the uh, America. Yeah, so um, good to support little artisans like that. It's a pity there's no one in the UK makes, you know, different style razors. Obviously, Edwin Jagger, but um, you know, if they were to bring out different ones. I know what I mean. Artisans, that's what the word I was looking for. Right, second pass. Yeah, feels really nice. Really, really comfortable. Right, let me rinse and come back for a third pass. Okay, here we go. Back for the third pass. Yeah, this brush. Well, look how much lather, <laughs> lather it's created in that bowl. Good stuff. Nice scent, I like that. A, uh, a confession to make. Um, myself and Mrs. Kevy, last minute thing, uh, we went to London at the weekend there and I didn't go to the shaving shops. I'm sorry. Well, I tried to go to them on the Sunday, but they were closed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, that pass against the growth. Um, yeah, we were down in London for, at the weekend, just the weekend past there. Um, it was a last minute thing. Yeah, last minute decision, we just decided, let's go to London for the weekend. So we went down on the uh, Friday on the train and came back on the Monday. And uh, we managed to get tickets see uh, Hamilton, the musical, which was great, really good. Um, yeah, very lucky, we just turned up at the, uh, there's like a ticket station in, in London and Leicester Square. 
and uh, someone must have cancelled or handed tickets back. So it was just a case of being right place, right time. Um, yeah, and uh, we went to see that on the Saturday evening. And then uh, Saturday during the day, we went to a tour of Westminster Abbey. Fascinating, really good. And I, I was going to go into the shaving shops on the way back from that, but we got caught up with other things. We went for, to a bar for a drink. And uh, we'd been wandering about all day, uh, like Mrs. Kevy was shopping for stuff, and so I was following her and holding her bag and handing her stuff in to try on. And it was good. <laughs> I don't mind doing stuff like that. Um, yeah, I saw kind of. It was roughly about maybe four o'clock, and I thought, oh, should I go to the shaving shop? So I was just, I was too tired. I said, let's just go back to the hotel get some rest before going out Saturday evening. We can go tomorrow. So I went along to German Street, to Tobs and Trumpers and stuff like that, and they were all closed on a Sunday. <laughs> but there you go. I'll go the next time. Right, three passes done. Let's have a feel. Yeah, a few pickups needing done. Just under here, usual spots. Let me rinse. But it was fine. I was, I was only gonna go just to, uh, see if they had any new stuff but I could probably check the website but even well just to go just to uh, just to, to see what I mean <laughs> but I went on the Sunday but they were closed they don't open on a Sunday which is good in a way you know it gives people time off but there you go but yeah London was great really good really really good we uh We decided to treat ourselves and went uh, first class on the train. It was fantastic. You get all your meals, all your drinks, as much as you want. You come around with the drinks trolley, food, you get hot food, you get drinks, you get sandwiches, you get crisps, potato chips, or as you guys call them. You get all that and it's all complimentary because you've paid extra for your ticket. Comfortable seats, big table, Really nice. Well worth it. Yeah, came back first class as well, so it was good. It was really good. A good weekend, just a relaxing weekend, just to get away from it all. It was good. Feels good. Yeah, this is a mild razor. It's it's comfort. There's a like I said, there's a tiny little bit of blade feel, but it doesn't feel in any way uh, threatening or, you know, kind of just autopilot. It feels nice. Right. Three passes and pickups. Excellent, right. Anybody want some lather? I'll leave some in the bowl for you, right? Okay, let's see how much this brush gives up. Monster, 28 millimeter. <laughs> Excellent, right. Yeah. Oh. Right, let's have a face wash with this. You know the drill. Uh, face wash, rub it in, rinse it off with hot, with cold, and then I'll see you for post shave after I've cleaned it on my gear. See you soon. Great shave. Very good. Right, on to the post shave. Uh, two products, they're the same name, made by the same company. Uh, I'll put the aftershave on first. Glass bottle, here it is here. Uh, this is M&S Wood Spice Amber, uh, Marks & Spencers, store here in the UK. Let's have a look there, look. Established 1996. Yeah, it has a, it's a woody, spicy, but, it has amber in it, so there's a little sweetness to it as well. So I thought that would go well with the soap. Right, let's have a good, good glug of that. 
This will be a little bit of a burn, I think. Yeah. Wow. Has some citrus in there too. Very good. Yeah, I don't know if you could still get this in um, Marks and Spencers, but it wasn't expensive at all by any means. About I think it was about seven pounds for that. Um, <clears throat> finishing it off with the uh, the matching balm. Yeah, as I say, I don't know if you still. I'll have a look, and if there's, um, it's still for sale. I'll put a link to it. Yeah, just that much. Yeah, smells similar. But good stuff, good shave. <clears throat> Ready to face the day, and whatever challenges that might bring, and I'm sure there will be many. Because it's me, Kevy. <laughs> right, there we go. Very good. Right, let me just get my hands away. Yeah, I enjoyed that shave. It was a uh, nice, easy, not any drama. Um, everything worked well, so good stuff. Right, let me show you what we used. Uh, the razor was the Yates Precision Manufacturing 921-M. Uh, very kindly on loan to me from Mark at Friendship Shaving. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate your kindness, generosity. Let me try stuff out. Um, inside that was a second use Gillette Nasset. Good razor. Mild, but it had done the job, no problem. It knocked down about four or five days stubble there. So, good razor. Uh, we bowl lathered in the, the yucky bowl. Uh, the soap was sample number five, which is this here. Uh, Spearhead Shaving Spice. Uh, so thank you to Paul Murphy for that. Uh, let me try that. Good soap. Nice scent on it. Easy to lather. Performed well. <clears throat> Not any problems. The brush. Yaki 28mm. Big old knot. Uh, Yaki Ocean. With the coin on the bottom there. Yeah, great brush. If you like big knots, this one's for you. Synthetic. Very good. With uh, just the black fibres. It has a little bit more backbone than a, uh, a tuxedo, I think. Still is soft, but yeah, very nice. Uh, so that was that. The razor, I said, was a second use snap set, yes. Um, three passes, pickups, face wash, post shave was MS Wood Spice Amber, and finished off with the matching Balm MS Wood Spice Amber. There we go, that's the shave. Feels good, looks good, looks good. Yeah, very comfortable. Right, thank you very much. Um, for joining me if you're still here thanks again for all your support all the comments all the likes everything like that i really appreciate it <clears throat> sorry it's been a little bit of time between videos but that's what it is um when i do come back i come back you know as i said so i'd rather have it that way than kind of structured you know because then it kind of ties me down and ties you down so anyway they're here forever you can watch them at your leisure Right, uh, have yourself some great shaves and I will see you in the next video. Take care, look after loved ones uh, and stay safe. See ya.